I'm Greg Watson from Watson Real Estate. Have you seen our featured resource page? This has got some fantastic articles, how to prepare for photography, buying properties, our incredibly popular suburb reports, and much more rental statistics, etc. So have a look at that if you get the chance on watsonrealestate.nz resources. But we're not here to talk about that today. We're just going to talk about the just released Real Estate Institute of New Zealand and Tony, Tony Alexander Real Estate Survey. So every uh, month they survey real estate agents um, and uh, as to what's happening in the market. And it says it's only a minor market calling that's detectable. The number of property appraisals are decreasing slightly as we head towards uh, Christmas. Are more or fewer people turning up at auctions? And again, just down slightly. But uh, there's there's some areas where it's quite popular. Northland, for example, 71% of agents report that more people are showing up at auctions. Uh, maybe the, the housing is slightly more affordable up there. There's another one of fewer people attending open homes. Yes, it's dropped off slightly. Uh, that's nothing to worry about. It's really seasonal as Christmas shopping seems to take some effects. So uh, it's, it's slowing as we approach Christmas. Next question, how do you feel prices are generally changing at the moment? Most people, uh, most real estate people are saying that it's going up. And that leads on to the question, do you think the fear of missing out is in play for buyers? 88% of agents say that they feel it is. In other words, people desperate to buy, uh, knowing that the market will continue rising. Real estate people were asked, are you noticing more or fewer first home buyers in the market? There has been a small decline in the number of people saying that they see more uh, first home buyers in the market. So 50% are saying yes, what you can make of that. Uh, and then in Queenstown Lakes, 0% of agents noted that they're seeing more first home buyers. So it can vary a little from area to area. Are you noticing more or fewer investors in the market? 45% of agents say they have. Um, and that's something which has been generally increasing. December, we can see a, a trend across all of these is it's just coming down or coming back a little bit. Are you receiving more or fewer inquiries from offshore? Fewer. So that's uh, down on the graph there. So what are the main concerns of buyers? This is worth spending a moment on. So, so a deficiency of listings is the first one with 70% of responding agents reporting that this is a concern of buyers. Next greatest concern is the high prices where 65% of agents have said that's the concern of the buyers. And that's really a, a pretty strong indication that people are seeing the market as being pretty expensive. So let's have a look here. I want to try and bring this one up larger if I can, but I, I'll just see what I can do for you. So the main concerns of buyers, there it is. Insufficient listings. Well, this is um, the trend from months of this year. It's right up there. Difficulties getting financed somewhat, about 50% of buyers. Worried that prices might fall after they buy. That's changed. People worried about that in June. It's come right back in December to, to being only a small worry. High prices have taken over. Very few concerned about income or job security. Um, so that was really quite interesting as well. Might leave it the size for a little bit. Are investors bringing more or fewer properties to the market to sell than three months ago? So it looks like less properties are coming on the market uh, for sale. And um, however, that's, I guess, somewhat of an improvement for buyers. Um, but really, because property prices are going up so well, it's hard for people to justify selling, particularly if they're investors. So what factors appear to be motivating investor demand? And that's the interest rate levels. Now I've got a theory about this. Let's have a look at the factors motivating investor demand. Interest rate levels are the main motivation, uh, followed by the expectation that prices will go up. Now, one thing that investors often have is equity in properties that they own, which they can take that equity, gather it together, and buy a property without needing a deposit. And so therefore, naturally, what's motivating them are the low interest rates so that um, they can get a better rate of return. 
There are some regional results. We won't worry about that. Put a, put in the comments if you'd like me to um, drop this uh, article in there. This is the um, Real Estate Institute of New Zealand and Tony Alexander Real Estate Survey for December. So that was just some highlights and uh, probably no groundbreaking things there, although it's just quieting down a little bit before Christmas. Thanks so much for watching.